had a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen. So the main important thing, when we're looking at variables with numbers, we've got to have numbers that we can take the square root of, right? For variables, we've got to take variables that we can take the square root of. So when I look at, I'm taking the square root, so I know that m squared, I can take the square root of that, right? Because square root of m squared is m, and I know I can take the square root of p squared, which is just going to equal p. So one way what we could do is let's rewrite this as far as as many squared numbers as possible. So therefore, I can rewrite this as m squared times m squared times m squared times m squared. Yes? Because what, remember when you multiply variables with exponents, you add the exponents. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Then times p squared times p squared. So now I can take the square I can take the square root of all of these numbers, correct? So you got it. And this is the exact same thing as that. Do you have to do that do the second step? Well, yeah, I mean, well, there's other ways you can do it. But, but I'll, let me show I'll show you a different one in a second. So now we do m, square root of m, square root is m, square root of m squared times m times m times m times p times p. Because when I take the square root of all these, that's what I get. So m times m times m times m. Is that to the four times p squared? So now, the square root is like dividing it by two. No, you're not really dividing it by two. You're undoing it. The square root of m squared. Remember what square root says? What two numbers multiplied by themselves equal m? Well, that would be m because m times m is m squared, right? So let's look at. Let's continue it. What about if I said the square root of m to the fourth? Well, the square root of m to the fourth is the same thing as the square root of m squared times m squared, which is equal to m times m, which is equal to m squared. So the square root of m to the fourth power is m squared. So I could have done this a little bit easier. I could have said m to the eighth, or the square root of m to the eighth times p to the fourth is really m to the fourth times m to the fourth times p to the fourth. Well, what's the square root of m to the fourth? m squared. So we're going to have m squared times m squared times the square root of p to the fourth, which would just be p squared, which you guys see m squared times m squared is m to the fourth p squared, which would have been our exact same answer. Okay? It's the same amount of steps. It's the exact same amount of steps.